To make the mini version of this DIY motorized turntable, you're going to need an $8 off the shelf continuous rotation servo. I'm using the Fitech FS90R and the corresponding motor servo horns that come with it. The correct set of 3D printed parts based on the size of the turntable you want to make. Links to Thingiverse and my mini factory are in the video description. Two M2 hex nuts and two M2 by 8 millimeter screws. You're going to need some 6 millimeter diameter by 3 millimeter thickness magnets, some two part epoxy, I use JB Quick, blue painter's tape, and two different colors of markers. The parts needed for the larger version are very similar. Full parts list and affiliate links for both size turntables are also in the video description below. Before installing anything, I recommend tuning the motor via their potentiometers before installing anything into the housings. It just makes things a lot easier. First install four magnets onto the master plate that mounts onto the servo horn of the motor. Be sure to mark the polarity of the magnets so that you can get the orientation correct when you install the magnets on the various attachment plates. I use a little bit of two-part epoxy in the bottom of each hole to retain the magnets. Here you can see that I've completed the installation of the magnets in two of the attachment plates. And you can see that I've marked the polarity of the magnets differently from the master plate to the attachment plates so that they'll stick together when we're using them because in this case opposites really do attract. Install two M2 nuts into the top of the base. Use painter's tape to retain them. Then flip the base over. Insert two M2 screws into the servo and then insert the servo into the base in this orientation. After tightening the screws down, flip the base over and remove the painter's tape. Now install this motor horn onto the motor. Then place the master plate onto this over the servo horn and then use the two thread forming screws that come with the motor to attach the master plate to the servo horn. And now you have a fully assembled motorized turntable. A very similar process is used for assembling the larger version with some different screws and nuts. Pay special attention to the screws used to attach the large master plate to the large servo horn because the screws that came with the motor ended up being too long and would interfere with its rotation. To run these turntables, I'm using the an Arduino Uno with the Adafruit Motor Shield V2 on top. Yes, you can run these servos directly off the Uno. The Motor Shield just lets me keep the connectors on my servos intact. I recently did a video on these 3D printed linear actuators that I designed which use the same type of continuous rotation servo that I'm using in these turntables. In the video for this actuator, I go over in detail the code needed to run these servos using an Arduino. The same type of a code applies for these turntables, so I'm not going to go over it again. If you want those details, click here to watch the video I mentioned. Let's now take a look at the various magnetic attachment plates that I've designed that snap onto the turntable. The attachment plates I've designed range from your basic flat plate to a plate with many different mounting holes on it. Also note that I've included recesses on the back side for bonding in nuts as an alternative way to attach things to this plate. Finally, I made a plate that can accept Lego pieces so you can easily display your Lego creations. And of course, swapping plates is super easy. And I've even included the dimensions needed to make your own custom attachment plate with the SDL files. Now I just want to see these guys running. That's it for this video. I hope you found these cheap DIY turntables useful. I've also included drawings for all the various hole spacings and the attachment plates if you want to make your own custom versions. If you did find this video or design useful, be sure to subscribe and consider helping the channel grow 
and encouraging me to keep release designs like this by checking out my Patreon page. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.